Hey guys, Jen here from A Diary of a Dreamer, and today I wanted to do another walkthrough of days 5 through 10 of my October daily. Um, I was trying to do a process video, and it would have been my first process video, but I kept having to stop because things just weren't working the way I wanted them to, and I'm pretty indecisive, so it was taking me forever. So, I'm going to figure out the process video for the next round. For the next couple of days, I'll probably try to do two or three days this time, and we'll see how that goes. So, the last video we left off on day four, so that means today we start with day five. I love how this album's turning out so far, I really do. And at the end of the month, I'll do a complete walkthrough and, a, and whatnot. Alright, so here's the start of day five. So, boyfriend had 24 hour duty on base, so he wasn't home until the next morning. So, I was kind of bored. I didn't have a lot to do. Um, I think I was working on homework and stuff. Probably, I don't know. Um, so, funny story. Boyfriend can watch whatever holiday horror movie he wants. He's just fine. Me, I possibly end up with nightmares just because my imagination is so overactive. Um, but the moment he watches a Tim Burton movie before we go to bed, he gets weird dreams. So he can't watch Tim Burton movies before bed, and it makes me sad. Because I love Tim Burton. So while he was gone, I watched Tim Burton. Um, I actually watched Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, just because it happens to be my favorite Halloween movie. Anyone who knows me really well knows that I'm obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. I even have a tattoo on my leg. Um, so this is a picture off of Pinterest that I found that I just liked. Um, this card, I forget which, it's from a Becky Higgins Project Life kit. I have a bunch of them. Um, and I sorted them all by color, so I actually have no idea what kit it comes from. If I can figure it out, I will post it below. I can probably look on the Project Life app and figure it out. Um, and I'll post that below so I can tell you because I just, I like this card. So it's just a black, it's just a white card with grid lines and it says happiness is. And then on the back it's just stripes, which is perfect for my October daily to bed. I didn't use that side of it, right? Um, but I, I didn't work on this day until a couple days later. Um, not until the 7th, I believe, is when I started working on the 5th. Um, so, these stamps, these two right here, are from Serena B, and I'll show you that later. Um, but I just wanted to put those there. This is just a glittery thicker from the fancy thicker set from American Crafts. Some of them have numbers, some of them don't. So if that's what you're looking for, just make sure you pay attention. So on to, let me take it out because it'll be easier to show you this way. This card. So these images are also from Pinterest. I will link to my um, October Daily and Nightmare Before Christmas boards because that's where I got this stuff from. Um, I'll link to those below if you're interested. This Happy Halloween is from Serena B's October Nights collection from a sticker sheet. This paper actually looks like let me find it for you <laughs> I cut the paper from a 12 by 12 that looks like this sorry it's sideways it's this paper pad's massive so I bought this paper pad with 150 sheets from Joann's I bought it mostly because it's impossible for me to find nine before Christmas related papers Happens to be my favorite movie, and I happen to be obsessed with Disney. This is like mostly cars and some other stuff, Toy Story. Um, so yes, I bought it mostly for just a few sheets of paper, but I am going to Disney um, later this month with a friend of mine, with several friends of mine actually, for um, the Mickey's Not So Spooky Halloween. So I figured this paper pad would be perfect, and also I can use it in other stuff too. So. It's, it's a huge paper pad, guys. Like I said, 150 sheets with 50 different designs. So I just cut that down to a four by six. Um, to get my four by sixes, I use this kind of plasticky card from Simple Stories. I picked it up at Michael's a couple years ago. I don't know if they still have them. They don't seem to have a lot of Simple Stories 
or snap stuff anymore, but if you can find it, this is a perfect 4x6 template. So this is what I use to cut my cards out. As you can see, other than the corners, it matches up almost perfectly. So, And then I just glued everything on top of the tape runner, like I always do. This is the back. Yes, this card is blank, and that's because I honestly cannot figure out what to put on this card. I was going to put Jack and Sally, a smaller version of these two, which I'll get to in a second, but they didn't fit. So right now it's just a skull card, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is another Pinterest image. Um, and the only other thing I really did that day was I made my usual Halloween trail mix that I make every year since I was in ninth grade. My best friend, Asha, showed me how to make it. Honestly, it's very simple. It's candy corn, marshmallows, chocolate chips. Um, usually I use the milk chocolate chocolate chips, but boyfriend wanted white chocolate, so that's what we got. And then this year I added pretzels, again, because that's what he wanted. So I like to compromise. So it's simple. It's super sugary. It's a little ridiculous, but it works. Nice little quick Halloween treat. And then the last thing I did was Jack and Sally. Um... I did this mostly because I needed this bag for the next day, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but I put Jack and Sally on here. I colored Sally with my Crayola Super Tip markers. Um, and I just glued, it, glued them down. Use, I tried out this new um, Tombow Mana liquid, aqua, aqua Liquid Glue, and I really like it. I like it a lot better than the... Um, I like it a lot better than... The craft bond glue I was using, but I think that's more of a conversation for another day. So, and then I just put a red heart. I dug out um, some hearts and stuff from uh, my Valentine's box, and yeah. So on to day six. So I'm gonna show you this first. Um, on the fifth, my roommate and I went to. Hot Topic in the mall, and I picked up a new tank top and a new sweater, which I'm wearing in that photo. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, day six was the start of boyfriend's five day, yes, I said five, day weekend. He had a four day weekend, Friday through Monday. He was off on Thursday because of 24 hour CQ the night before. Excuse me, the day before. So he slept most of the day. Um, what's not in here, what I just realized, is our dog got out of the backyard and we had to go find the dog because he likes adventures and running away if he's not watched um but we found him very shortly thankfully um and then the best part about that day was this if i can pick it up my happy mail came in from annie who is doodle chips creative here on youtube and also on instagram i'll link her below she sent me this awesome um mini pocket letter this is the card that she sent me it's show you the back it's just a purple piece of what looks like a purple piece of cardstock um some paper and then her lovely cupcake embellishments um so i wanted to include this in here and that's why the bag's in here because i couldn't figure out any other way to include that um so i just took a black saxon things bag right here that i bought at michael's it's from the paper studios um, and then I took some paper that I got from scrapbook.com from last year's, is it some, I think it's from Something Wicked. Um, <laughs> that would be my dog, or my roommate's dog, our dog, whatever. Um, <laughs> my roommate has food, apparently, and isn't sharing, so it's funny. Um, and then I just took some of the glow-in-the-dark thickers that I got at Tuesday morning and put Happy Mail on there. And I just hole punch it and I slide it back in the book right here. Um, that night, we actually broke the chain and we watched a Tim Burton movie. He didn't realize it was a Tim Burton movie. It's called Nine. It was the first time we'd ever seen that. So, overall, um, it was a mostly easy and uneventful day. Day seven, um, was also a simple kind of day. Um, we were gearing up for, excuse the sound of my chair, we were gearing up for Hurricane Matthew, because I live in North Carolina. And it was coming in apparently straight for us, or at least the bands were. So we we're going up for Hurricane Matthew. Um, that day I did get some happy mail, which I said I would talk about right here, which is um, Serena B's 
add-on kit from Paper Cakes for October Nights collection. Which, of course, now that I moved in, I gotta stay makeup. Um, a bunch of little goodies. Um, and then I also ordered last year's stamp set. So, things are sticking to things. This is this year's stamp set, which I can show you the video. Um, she has, I'll link the video below where you can see the stamp set. And then this is last year's stamp set. And I saw it and I couldn't pass it up because I just think it's so cute. Um, so this card back here. Give me one second. This card right here is from her Jeepers Creepers kit, which last year was just a actual physical paper product. Um, this year she released it as a digital product, which I bought. Um, so this is just one of the 4x6 cards that I printed out. I used a regular black doily that I picked up at Michael's. I took, this was off of um, one of the papers. When, when you print out the 4x6s, there's two 4x6s together, and this is just at the top where it says Paper Cakes by Serena B. So I just printed it out, matted it on a scrap piece of cardstock, and added it here. This I got in a swap. Um, can't remember if it's from Gala or if it's from May. I feel terrible because I can't remember. Um, this Too Cute is from a Halloween... Where'd they go? It's from a set of... Halloween word stickers, which are in my box somewhere. I don't know. Or they're on the table somewhere, which is also completely possible because you guys can't tell, but my desk is a disaster right now. Because I was just working on my album. Because I went to film this video and I was missing some cards. So I have a um, photo box that I picked up probably from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's, I'll show you. They look like these. I got them at Michael's. They come, it's a pack of two. So. Um, but no, I have this random side note. It's a photo box you can pick up at Michael's. It's plain black and it's got all my stickers in it for the month. That little guy is... Also, one of my stickers, technically, from Jolie's Boutique. Um, I just noticed that their each line is a little bit different. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to use those, and I figured this would be perfect. So then I just took a card. Again, I don't remember what kit it's from. I think it's from Rain or something like that. Um, I'll put the, if I can find it, I'll put it below. Um, this was given to me a couple years ago in uh, Iraq. So I took Serena's um, Big Pumpkin stamp, this one right here. I stamped that down. I did all my writing. Um, for, for most of these cards where you see black writing, I just use my black soot distress marker, the fine tip end. And that's where I do the black writing. Because I can't find the marker I was intending to use. Um, and I just added a little witch hat from some stamp or sticker set that I had from a couple years ago. Another one of those glittery thickers. This bat and this star came from Remarks Halloween from American Crafts, which I picked up on um, scrapbook.com. Um, and then I added some little rhinestones. Um, the movie we watched, we actually watched this, my roommate, her son, boyfriend, and I all sat down and watched Hocus Pocus. Um, that night. Um, it's a fantastic movie. Every, if you haven't seen it, you really should. I actually had a friend who posted it the day we watched it. Um, does anybody have a copy of Hocus Pocus I can borrow? Because I've never seen the movie. And literally all the comments were, go buy it. You don't need to watch it first, just go buy it, because it's awesome. So that was day seven. So like I said, we were gearing up for Hurricane Matthew, which brings us to day eight. This is, um, I kind of got the idea from Sabrina and her inserts, but I was trying to figure out how to, oh, it's not working right. How to, maybe I should use some aqua glue. How to make the same or similar kind of insert. This is just supposed to be a pocket kind of where I can just slip this little 
other piece in and out. But my tape runner is, even though it says it's a permanent tape runner, it does not hold very well. I'm so sorry if my head was just in the camera, guys. My hair is a mess, and I'm sorry. Let me just fix this real quick, and then we shall continue talking about Hurricane Matthew. So, I live about two hours from the beach. So we weren't, we were expecting something, but we weren't expecting much. Um, but then again, it's because I'm from Florida, where it's Hurricane City. You know, we get hurricanes all the time. The only problem with getting a hurricane here in North Carolina this week was last week we had a super duper um, storm that came through and it started to flood the city. It was a 14 hour storm. Well, the problem is that the ground didn't soak it up quick enough. So I kind of figured we were gonna have some problems and have some problems we did. The entire eastern part of North Carolina is still struggling because parts of it are still underwater. I'm filming this on the 12th. This was the 8th. We're still struggling. Um, it's going to be a while. North Carolina, at least eastern North Carolina, is still under a state of emergency just because of the flooding. Um, schools have been shut down. They will be shut down until Monday. That includes... Um, elementary, middle, high school, and even some of the colleges, the college I go to, um, and ECU shut down until Monday just because of the flooding, because people can't get, people can't get to school, um, parent, buses can't pick up children, there's still places without power, we still cannot drink our water, we have to use bottled water or we have to boil it. So it's, it's been fun, you know? Thankfully, I've lived through some hurricanes, so this isn't anything quite new to me. But Fayetteville is not built for a hurricane. We're too, we're too far inland. Nobody thinks of flooding. And we got hammered. So, um, these are some pictures that I took the day of. So, this is my backyard. As you can see, the cooler's kind of floating. It flooded back there a little bit. Um, this is the front yard. That's the neighbor's house. It's a funny story about the neighbor's house. Their garage, they had some, um, they had sandbags in front of their garage while the water overran the sandbags. That's fun. So then my nephew's over at his friend's house. My roommate's son is over at his friend's house. And he sends me this. This is the road that we take out of, off of our street to go take him to school. This is the guardrail. The guardrail broke. Uh, the street flooded and part of the street washed away. Um, so this is a picture that someone else in our neighborhood took. As you can see, that's quite a bit of damage. Um, and then this is what it looked like the next day. Because actually on the 9th, a bunch of us went out. Like, I've never seen so many people in our neighborhood all at once. Everybody went out and was walking around, checking out the damage, checking on each other. And um, we all went down to look. Um, the road for this, right about where that truck is sitting, is actually blocked off right now with official like road closed signs and stuff. Um, just because it's it's that bad. So um, there, that seems to be working much better. That aqua glue that I just put down to keep it closed. Um, so I just did all my journaling here. I. I switched to a just a jelly roll pen. I, I still cannot find my white Signo Uniball pen. I don't know where it went. So I'm using this instead. It worked surprisingly really well. Um, so this is just a little insert I made for Hurricane Matthew. Day nine, like I said, people still didn't have power. Oh, I'm still not done because I don't have a picture there. Oops. Um, so people still didn't have power, including one of my classmates and her husband. They had no water and they had no power. So, um, after my roommate, is this the day? Yeah, after my roommate got home from work. Or no, she didn't have work. She didn't have work on the 9th because she worked for 24 hours straight on the 8th. She is a uh, ER nurse at our local hospital, so she worked two shifts in one. So she was off on Sunday. Um, so we had my classmate and her husband over and we played cards against humanity so 
S um, this is all Serena B's spooky pastel collection. I used all of her cards. Um, for this, and I'll put the link below. Um, we were all. I was trying to fit all five of us in the picture, so boyfriend's face got cut off. Mine's kind of cut off, and that's my classmate. That's her husband. He always makes weird photo faces and photos, as you can tell here. That's my roommate. So we just played cards against humanity, and uh, they were. He's in the navy. She was in the navy. So he was telling us a bunch of funny stories about being on a ship, because I was army. Boyfriend is army. So we had fun. And then the last day I just realized I don't have a picture. I have to print out a um a, a copy of the movie we watched or the poster for the movie we watched. Again, this is spooky pastel. Um <laughs> my roommate had the house set on 68 degrees. When it's cooler inside your house than it is outside, that's not fun. Um so I just printed out the sweater weather paper from the spooky pastel collection because i thought it was appropriate i journaled a little bit about how cold it is in the house right now and then this is just talking about the simple day home school is canceled for both of us both me and the child due to the hurricane so we all just hung out while his mother worked um i landed a new client for those of you that don't know i am a virtual assistant i got my third client that day and the boys played a video game together after getting most for dinner the boys and i watched warcraft so I have to get the Warcraft poster, and that will complete day 10. I thought I had it all done, but apparently I didn't. I stink. I stink. I stink. So that's it, you guys. That is days 5 through 10. I'll do another quick flip through. I have it actually in the album. Hopefully the glare is not too bad. Um, I really do love this project, and I'm actually gearing up to get ready for December Daily. People are laughing at me, I'm sure. Um, but I want to do it again for December. I did it in a Traveler's Notebook last year for both Halloween and Christmas. So this year I'm going to try to do another 6x8 um, album for Christmas. But this is what I have so far. So we've got some other fun stuff coming up this month. Um, we're going to do the pumpkin patch with uh, our friend and her kids. You know, um, We've got a couple shows coming up this weekend for the band um, I'm going to Disney stuff like that so we have a whole bunch of stuff planned and even if we didn't I have both of these this is like a 31 days real quick of Halloween this was in my intro video but it's just different stuff we can do like bake bake Halloween cookies drink cider watch a classic monster movie make pumpkin bread with fresh pumpkin um, collect different fall colored leaves, eat a caramel apple, build a fire, go on a hayride, eat a Halloween Oreo, wear orange, watch Hocus Pocus. Hey, we did that one. Um, drink pumpkin spice latte. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes, but I do like the pumpkin spice frappuccinos. Um, I don't drink hot coffee. I'll only drink the frappuccinos. I'm weird. I know. Believe me, being an air traffic controller, not drinking coffee, and then working at Starbucks and not drinking coffee. I'm weird. Um, eat candy corn, done that, play in the leaves, drink spicy tea, bake an apple pie, carve a pumpkin, host a spooky movie night, eat frankenberry, blueberry, or cat chocula, drink pumpkin, what is that, pumpkin ale or beer, eat a caramel apple milky way, roast pumpkin seeds, visit a pumpkin patch, dance to thriller, visit, sorry about that, my video apparently cuts out at a certain time, so, um, well, I'm almost done anyway. So visit Oktoberfest. It'd be perfect if I was still in Germany. I miss those. Um, collect cool pumpkins. Sit on the porch and smell the rain. Visit a haunted house. I think we technically did this on the porch thing when the hurricane came through. <laughs> visit a haunted house. Make a Halloween playlist, which we're going to do for our Halloween party. Decorate the house inside and out. We're working on that. Actually, today we're going to Spirit Halloween. And then go trick-or-treating. So, I mean, we have a list of different stuff we can do. Sorry for the noise. Um... So we just, we'll get around to it. So, all right guys, that's it for this part of my October daily. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, uh, post them down in the comments below. And until next time, bye-bye.